you ready? Are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head. Who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, Are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome to another week of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, joined as always by the legend, Mr. Andy Constantine Merriweather. Oh, that'll do it. Hello, I Matt. Have no How idea are you? What your name is actually. I forgot and I just threw in Constantine. It seems apropos. Uh, it's close. Michael. Constantine is very close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um yeah how are you doing mate all good yeah. thanks thanks for the intro i really appreciate that uh, uh no complaints no complaints um if if there is any noise please let me know i have all my windows and doors open to get some airflow i got a fan two fans going uh so if it ever gets too loud i can shut some windows so just give me a heads up okay yeah and no, i can't hear a thing it's uh yeah pretty pretty clean perfect perfect good because i got a fan blowing straight about a foot away from me just straight up into me from the ground it's perfect no way which fan one of the scanlon brothers presumably <laughs> yes uh yeah just uh <laughs> <laughs> from the ground yeah like, dude i gave my hand fan to use that instead they're like nah bro i am in this for the long haul oh natural <laughs> yeah. already lightheaded but god damn it trooper <laughs> trooper yeah <laughs> uh how are you yeah things are good uh gosh yeah two weeks away from having a baby so that's nuts um yeah i mean apart from that it feels like nothing else is really going on for, you know? for what, it, what it's worth constantine would be a lovely name i don't know if you that's, guys have decided well we haven't decided do you know what naming a naming a second child is the hardest thing ever we had we, <laughs> yeah <laughs> the hardest well, thing of all time oh yeah being a second child yeah, there are probably like really, really hard things going on in the world, but I mean, do they have to name it's, a second? Yeah, part? peace in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that could be in trouble. But, Wars but, uh, between nations, dude. Yeah. Have you ever tried to name a second child? A second one. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Felt very local, um, but uh, it's yeah, it's really tricky. And uh, we actually backtracked because we were like, surely, like um, you know, Ezra. What, at what point did Ezra come to our heads in terms of, uh, you know, naming him? And just search the name Ezra in our WhatsApp messages, which obviously is a thousand results. So just scrolling right back through to find the first one. It was a week after we found out we were pregnant. So that, that was locked in. Oh, <laughs> that was locked right. in quite early. Um, so, yeah, not the same with this one, unfortunately. She will be loved less, presumably because of this. So You never know. Or more. The moment that the inspiration hits you and then you'll have that memory forever. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe what that happened. But yeah, any suggestions, drop them in the comments. Constantine, we'll start with that and then work our way down. Beautiful girl, a name for a girl. So. <laughs> um, all right, you ready to, to begin today's show? I absolutely am. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we have a geeked theme show uh, for you guys out there today. And we invited two previous guests back on. One said, you know what? I'd like a piece of this asshole. And we were like, <laughs> no problem. We are happy to set that up. Mm -hmm. um, so first up, uh, making a return visit rather quickly. We enjoyed him so much. We were like, we got to get you back on soon, man. So please help us welcome back to the show from, you know, from the Schmodown, Mr. Chandru Dendapani. How are you? Hi. Sir? Good, good. How are you guys? I've definitely caught the settle the score bug. So I'm like back as soon as possible. How mm. are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no complaints. No complaints. Look, we always like it when somebody's like, you know who I want to take on? This prick. And we're like, like if we can make <laughs> that happen, we will do it. Yeah. No, yeah. And Andy, I definitely feel you on the second name stuff. Like, like they say, uh, even with directors, right? You have your life, whole lifetime to make your first movie, but only two or three years to make your second movie. Just like that. <laughs> you have your whole lifetime to think of the name for your first baby, but then like the second baby, you're like, very restricted in time yeah that's exactly right yeah so you you'd agree that it's like comparable to war and famine and things like that yeah, exactly. yeah not quite that. climate change <laughs> uh microplastics yeah. all the biggies all the big big problems right at the, yeah. the apex forest fires. Yeah. <laughs> forest fire exactly yeah cobalt well, merryweather i think would be a good name cobalt. <laughs> 
perfect. That's perfect. Conflict Diamond Merriweather. Beautiful. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. That's, she's going to enjoy this show looking back. Oh, yeah. Later. It's going to live on YouTube forever. <laughs> <laughs> she can go back and watch. As we joked about what uh, terrible name to give her. Well, if she has no name, she can't have a YouTube account, so we're all good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah baby with no name. Yeah. <laughs> I know legally in the States, you're not allowed to do that. So let's see if you can get away with that in the UK. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, the uh, the gentleman you are taking on today, Chandru, is a veteran of the geek shows. Mm. You know, Light size breakdown. Please help us welcome back to the show, Mr. Amaru Moses. Ru, how are you? I'm good. Andy, I had no clue, sir. Congratulations. Um, every time I'm on the show, I'm like, damn, it's going to be really late for Andy, but Ezra... So he's kind of up. You're right back at it. He's just starting all <laughs> over. Uh, yeah, yeah. So con exactly. congratulations. I'm gonna just add to the C names we've already put out there. Okay. Cassius. Cassius sounds beautiful. Okay, Constantine Cobalt Cassius. Okay, well that's a good. Yes. Like, yeah, we we could put them in order, and it'll be a first and two middles. So that'd be fine. Uh, I love the pronunciation too, Cassius. You know, Cassius. Yes. Cassius. It's like when you put a British actor into a Roman uh, film, period film. It's, I oh love wait, every what time. was I? What was I supposed to say? Cassius. Well, he says cash, like cash, Cassius. Cassius. Okay. Oh, okay. right. No way. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. No, cool. no, no. I like Cassius. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Mark Anthony. It sounds more, it, yeah, it sounds more refined. Okay. It does. It does. <laughs> the female uh, pronunciation. Yeah. No, that's that's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Keep them coming, guys. <laughs> oh, the cash. <laughs> cash is the female pronunciation. I like yeah. It. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cassius yeah. is the male. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ellen La. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, all right, gentlemen, are we ready to play today's game? Yeah, sure. let's do it. All right, here is your bell for round number one. All right, Rue, you will have opening choice in this first round of one through five. Once you make your selection, I will give a clue and Andy will begin playing. When either of you think you know the movie that this is from buzz in with your name i will call on you and you're guessing the movie itself so don't worry about the title of the song it's worth 10 points and there is a bonus question worth five points but i'll give you the rules of that when we come to it so rue one through five where would you like to begin today's show uh numero uno starting at one all right number one it is and we had a ton of clues given to us by patrons today so thank you we have done our best to try and include all of you by spreading the love around but there's some excellent choices especially for this one we're going to open it up with ken whitehurst submitted this and it is blame canada blame canada <laughs> I'm doing this tonight. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. That is correct for 10 points. Great, great fucking opening. <laughs> yeah, we assumed you guys had seen that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Safe yeah. assumption. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I love that uh, now anywhere you see Bye Bye Bye, it no longer says in sync. It says from Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, wow. even the original music video says now yeah. in parentheses, like from Deadpool and Wolverine. Really? Yeah. 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 So they updated it just on Spotify and YouTube just to get some and, more. And Apple everywhere. Everywhere. Right. Hey, you guys have probably a uh, you know, better ear to the ground on how movies are made and things like that. The fact that in the Bye 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 video, Timberlake does a superhero landing, is that is that why the... Or is that just a coincidence that those two things are? The only thing I can think of is that there's a, a scene in X2 where they're in the car and they play a song and Bye 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 uh, is the one that plays when like Wolverine is driving Cairo um, hmm. and Rogue and Iceman away from the from the uh, mansion. Rogue mansion, yeah. Yep. Okay. Guess what, guys? That was almost going to be the second round. But Andy was like, why don't we do it from the most popular movie in the world this year? I'm like, you know what? You're right, man. <laughs> You're right. right. Right in the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry. Parenthetically, we're going to put that in ours, too. We use music from Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool, Wolverine. Just yeah. the song. <laughs> yep. Um, all right, Rue. Bonus question time. You have a choice. 
It's worth five points. Some of these are easy and some of these are hard. If you choose to go to long and you get the question wrong, you'll lose five points. Or you can open up to you and Chandru. No one will lose any points, but if he gets it right, he will cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question is, do you want to be a dick or not? Well, I've been already called a prick, so I might as well be a dick. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm picking this one up. We got a theme. I didn't call uh, you a prick, by the way. 100% he bad. did. Don't believe him. It are, it, those aren't my words. I don't talk like that. Yeah. Matt, pull up the email. <laughs> <laughs> Right oh, Chris, just, Evans, uh, Chris Evans and Deadpool. see me clanking over. away the keys real quick. I got a yeah. Gmail account. Chandru calls Amaru a prick at gmail.com. <laughs> Look at that. He fucking made an entire account for this. Um, all right, Ru, this is for you and you alone, then. Here's your bonus question. According to the YouTube channel Dark Cinema, what is the on-screen kill count in Deadpool and Wolverine? And we'll I give it to you if you're within 20. Damn, I thought this would be the hard one. Fuck. Um, all right. It's a lot. You said within 20, right? Within 20. Um, oh, and you have to consider if that scene counts as kills. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the even 100. That is incorrect. You lose five Damn. points. It's 73. Oh, so, so close. close. <laughs> so close. All right, Rue, that knocks you down to five points, but you have your choice. Two through five. Where are we going next? Uh, three. All right. Number three, it is. Clue comes to us from Matt Scanlon, and it is A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life. Okay. Hopefully that's just vague enough to throw you guys off. I am so high, I can hear heaven. I am so high, I can hear heaven. Oh, but heaven. No heaven, don't hear me. Rue. Yeah. Blue Beetle. Incorrect. Tundra, you can hear more of it if you like. He was just about to get into the chorus. Yeah, can I hear I more say, of it? You're on the chorus, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they say that a hero would save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait I'll hold on to the wings of the eagles Watch as we all fly away I can give a second clue, Chandru, but at that point, Amaru can guess. Yeah. Between two movies... Mm, Spider-Man, 2002. That is correct for 10 points. Okay. If I waited like two more seconds. <laughs> Had you just gotten to the chorus, it would have... Yeah. All right, uh, Chandru, you're up 10 to 5. Bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? Um, the guess a number question is already out of the way, so I'll be a dick. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is for Chandru and Chandru alone. Then here's your bonus question. In Spider-Man... Stan Lee makes his second ever cameo in a comic book movie. What was the first movie? Um, that'd be X Men 2000. That is correct for five points. All right, it's 15 to five. Chandra, you have choice. Do you want two, four, or five? Number two. Number two, it is. Throwing Rue off his odds only sequence. There. <laughs> I like it. It's surprising the number of people that have an odds only. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Number two, it is. Your clue comes to us from Matt Scanlon, and it is Evolutionary Road. Evolutionary Road. Rue. Rue. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> Tie ball game. Love that song. 
All right, 15 apiece. Rue, bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? Sandra, did we ever actually play a geek match against each other officially? In the Shmata? Officially? No, we've only done the practice matches. <laughs> we only did the practice one. Okay, yeah, so we'll, I'll leave this one open. Then. Open? Okay. Yeah, I'll leave this one open. I've, I've never actually got to, like, fully play you in something. Was there? Oh, <laughs> All right, it's open to you both. Here's your bonus question, then. Frequent collaborators James Gunn and Nathan Fillion have worked together on five movies. Name four. Chandru. Chandru. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and The Suicide Squad. Uh, that is incorrect. Huh. Uh, I get a shot at this, then? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, it says name four. Name four of the five. Um... Let's go Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, The Suicide Squad, Gonna Guess, Slither, and um, do I know any? Uh, I'm just going to say Guardians Volume 2. Incorrect. I see other Guardians. I don't know any other movies from him. It's like Guardians that. 1. Oh, 1. Damn. And then Super. Hmm. Uh, I was pretty sure he was in volume two as well. I, I just had a quick yeah, look. I wanted to make sure. And he, he filmed scenes and they were cut. Oh, okay. oh. so close. Yeah. I just sure. go by credited on IMDb. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, no bonus points awarded for that. But Rue, you got the music question right. So do you want four or five next? Go for Oh, where it is, yeah, he's breaking his own or, odds on leaving. Telling you to suck it on that, either. exactly. <laughs> he zigged when you thought he was zagging, that's what he does. All right, number four, it is your clue comes to us from Joe Farrelly, and it is Nomad Land. Nomad Land. <laughs> Eternals? Incorrect. Okay. Uh, I will take the guess of the crow. Uh, incorrect. I'll give you a second clue. Second clue comes to us from Eric Grebner, and it is Rogue Director. Nomad Land. Um, Chandru. Chandru. Uh, the creator. That is correct for 10 seconds. Damn it. That's what I was going to guess. Shit. All right. It's 25 to 15. Chandru, bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? Uh, I'll be a dick. I'll be a dick. Cow. All right. <laughs> All right, here's your bonus question. In The Creator, what West Wing actress plays Colonel Howell? Act West Wing actress, you said, right? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, shit. You were smart not to leave this open. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, but like now he's gonna lose. Points open, would, yeah, you would have gotten the five points. So yeah. it's effectively the same thing. Yeah. But, um what's your guess? Ah. Uh, okay. Um definitely not right. Um Laura Linney. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Allison Jenny. 
Alice and Janney is for real. Oh, shit. Shit. I've only seen that movie once and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, it's 20 to 15. John Drew is in the lead. And we have one left in this opening round. Your clue for this one comes to us from Juan Reyes. And it is Steamboat Mickey. Steamboat Mickey. All right, I'll give, you a, I'll give you a second clue. Um, can I guess oh, before you give go ahead. a second clue? Um, Jungle Cruise. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Um, I, Iron Man 2. Also incorrect. Uh, your second clue is comes to us from Andrew Scanlon, and it is what's black and white and red sometimes? Steamboat Mickey. What's black and white and red sometimes? Damn, that did not help. I give you a third one. All right. Yeah, I'll t I'll take the third one. All right, your third clue is from Ken Whitehurst, and it is actually cannot use that one. I apologize. We do Eric Grebner's, and it's Hooker with the Hair of Gold. Chandru. Chandru. Um, Sin City. That is correct for 10 points. Wrong Mickey Rourke movie. <laughs> yeah, you both on that first clue had interesting takes on that. Yeah. Um, all right, it's 30 to 15. Chandru is in the lead. Final bonus question Do you want to be a dick or not? Okay, Sin City, I know pretty well, better than the creator, so I'll be a dick. All right, here is your bonus question Given the brouhaha at the time, IMDb lists what three people as co directors of Sin City? Okay, um, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino. Okay. And Frank Miller. That is correct for five points. All right. Into round one. It is 35 to 15 with Chandru in the lead. Here's your bell for round number two. All right, Rue, you will have opening choice in our second round. And this is our five-second round. So you make your selection of one through five. I will give a clue. And then Andy will play a five-second snippet of the song. It could be from anywhere in the song. It's his choice. If either of you can place it to the movie in that opening five uh, seconds, it's worth 10 points. Otherwise, if we have to go to a second five of music, it drops the point value down to five points. So, Rue, one through five, where would you like to begin round number two? Back to one. Back to one it is. This one could be tough. Just going to go ahead and float that out there now. This one could be tough. Uh, your clue comes to us from Ken Whitehurst, and it is Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Rue? Rue. Snowpiercer? Incorrect. Uh, Although the the vibe of that instrumentation. Yeah, yeah it's kind of. Mm. Yeah, I see that. Can I hear it again? Sure. Well. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Now you don't have to guess. You can yeah. hear the next five of music if you like. Otherwise, mm. if you guess now, we'll go to the second five of music. And if neither of you has a guess at that point, I'll give a second clue. Okay. Um, the Batman. Incorrect. Okay. All right. So we'll go to the second five of music. You both can guess again at that point. Okay. Happy birthday, dear Bruce. Happy birthday to you. I will give you a second clue. Um, Chandru. Chandru. Batman Begins. That is correct for five points. Oh, nah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. trying to go through them and I couldn't figure out which one it was. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't remember it either in Batman Begins, but then I just went with my sec like second best choice first. Yeah, yeah, I mean, based on your first guess. You were uh, in the ballpark. Yeah. Um, all right, Chandru, you're up 40 to 15, and you have your choice, two through five. Where are we going next? Two, keeping it even. Two it is. Uh, your clue comes to us from Eric Grebner, and it is use your inside voice. Use your inside voice. And if I had to guess... As a betting man, Chandra, I think you're operating from a deficit on this one. I'm just going to guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. Giving you a heads up. <clears throat> okay. Knock, knock, let the devil in me level in his outfit. True. 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 Venom. That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. It's comic book <laughs> plus hip hop. And it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, that really favors Rue. I forgot about that. <laughs> Venom, yeah. Uh, yeah, the best part of that movie is the song that uh, <laughs> really has nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, I love the people that defend Let There Be Carnage. Like, I'm not sure oh, your God. eyeballs work. Um, <laughs> one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. I'm with you there. Um, all right, 40 to 25. Rude, you have choice. Three through five. Where are we going? Keep the order going. Three. All right. <laughs> Number three, it is. Uh, your clue comes to us from Houston Bodily, and it is She's My Dream Girl. She's My Dream Girl. And this one also could be tough. Okay. I still soon this full of pins. Chandru. Chandru. Uh, Dune Part 2. That is correct for 10 points. Nice. Nice job. Yeah. All right. 50 to 25. Chandru, four or five. Where would you like to go next? Four. We're keeping the four. auto going. All right. Four it is. Um, your clue for number four is religious fervor. Religious fervor. And here's a little uh, little behind the scenes for you guys. Andy wrote this clue, and he used okay. a British spelling. And the words document is clearly American English. And it was like, <laughs> fervor. Did you mean to spell it like this? <laughs> yeah. It does that every once again. He spells theater the way they spell theater for some. And it's like, I'm pretty sure the R comes at the end. Like, <laughs> I, that's the difference of... Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I do the same thing because, like, in India, we did the British spellings as well. So I had to, like, remove use and, like, switch up R's and E's yeah. a lot <laughs> coming here. And we literally did that as just a middle finger after independence. Yeah. We went, <laughs> you know what? No, we're not fucking doing that anymore. But then in Glamour, to used, we're going to but... keep that U in there for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we change other things, but... Uh... It's fucking great. All right, here we go. <laughs> and once again, your clue is religious fervor. Hmm. 
Won't you fly Chandru. Kingsman the Secret Service. Uh that is I don't is that the full name of yes, that this one? Yes, okay. I was about to look it up and I was like, because there's the golden circle, and then what was no, the, the first one. Yeah, that is the first that's that is correct. That's the first one, yeah. Because it's like in the the newest one, King's Man. Yeah, the yeah. King's Man. Yeah. <laughs> um just because we had a little discrepancy. Was that the last time you were on Rue where it was the Suicide Squad versus Suicide Squad? Suicide Squad, Squad yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot to write down specifically what it was called. Yeah. Um, all right, that makes it 60 to 25. We have one left in this second round. And your clue for this one is bird is an understatement. Bird is an understatement. I'm gonna take it down. Rue. Rue. I have to say Iron Man 2. Uh, that is correct for 10 points. Okay. I, yeah. like, I was gonna guess before the movie, before the song starts, dude. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, no, like... It's perfectly legal. Mm -hmm. So you're saying my uh, accent was as authentic as Mickey Rourke's, is what you're 100%. saying? <laughs> Spot on, right? Just, spot just on. As right on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. That ends round number two. It is 60 to 35 with Chandru in the lead. And here's your bell for round number three. All right, Chandru, you will have opening choice in this final round. And this mm -hmm. is our bidding round. So once you make your selection of one through five, I will give a clue. And you will open the bidding with the number of notes you think you can guess this uh, movie in. Four is the minimum. The max is however many you'd like it to be. Once we have your opening bid, then we'll go over to Rue, and he can bid one note fewer down to zero. But we bid back and forth until one person tells the other to settle the score. And at that point, that person is answering alone. Your point values are at 10 notes and above, it's worth 10 points. Six to nine notes, it's worth 15. Three to five notes, it's worth 20. Zero to two notes, it's worth 25 points. You each have a lifeline you can use one time to ask for a second clue. If you get the question wrong, your opponent automatically gets those points. And finally, if your opponent gets a question wrong and you think you know the answer, you can double down on it. And if you guess correctly, you'll double the points available on the board. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. Okay. So, Chandru, with your 25-point lead, one through five, where would you like to begin round number three? One. All right. Number one, it is. Your clue comes to us from. I like, I like two on this quite a bit. Uh, we will say Ken Whitehurst and we'll say nuclear Kennergy, nuclear Kennergy. So Chandru, you'll open the bidding Four is the minimum. The max is however many you'd like it to be. I'll do 16, one, six, 16 Rue. 13. Settle the score. All right, on 13 notes. It's worth 10 points. It's a 25 point ball game right now. Still plenty of time left on the clock. Rue, you do have your lifeline if you want a second clue. And then uh, Chandru, if he gets it wrong, you can use your double down and mm -hmm. your lifeline clue at the same time. And your clue, once again, Rue, is nuclear Kennergy. Uh, 
Can I hear that again, please? Mm -hmm. It was nowhere near anything I was expecting. Uh, This is not going to help me, and I don't want to use my lifeline that. So I'm just going to go with what I want to say, and I'm going to say Street Fighter. Uh, incorrect. Okay. <laughs> incorrect. Uh, Chandru, do you want the 10 points? You can't double down on it, but if you guess wrong, it's worth zero. I'll, t I'll take the 10 points. All right. As the 10 points goes to Chandru. Uh, do you have a guess by chance? I'm just for shits and giggles? Um, is it Indiana Jones 4? Indiana uh, it Jones is not. Okay. It is not. Uh, we've only done Indiana Jones 4 once on this show. And uh, I don't think Andy and I are ever going to probably put it back <laughs> on the show again, to be honest. They didn't get it when we did it, and I didn't feel bad that they didn't get it. <laughs> um, no, that is uh, Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla. yes, of course. All right, so 70 to 35. Chandra, you have your choice, sir. Two through five. Where are we going next? Uh, let's keep the order going. Two. All right, two it is. Your clue for number two is... Comes to us from Robert from Late to the Party, and it is Oops. Save the Date. Save the Date. So, Chandru, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? Um, I'll do 16. 16 again. We'll do 13 again. <laughs> Settle the score. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a 35-point game right now, 70 to 35. Ru, you still have your lifeline. If you'd like to use it this time, Chandru, once again, you still have your double down and your mm -hmm. lifeline. Your clue is save the date. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. How many notes was it? Sorry. 13 notes. 13. So working out the 13 notes now. Here we go. <laughs> The uh, one movie I think of has already been said today with that in there. Oh, um, V for Vendetta. That is correct for 10 points. There we go. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah, there's the <laughs> the cannon fire. <laughs> yes. Miss <laughs> Dalvo, good for you. Um, all right. 70 to 45. And Ru, you now have choice three, four, or five. Keep it going. Three. <laughs> All right. Number three, it is your clue for number three is a true RPG. A true RPG. Thirteen. Twelve. Uh, what's the score right now? It is 70 to 45. So you're down by 25 points. So if you Ten. get it down to... Okay. 10. Settle the score. All right. On 10 notes. I will not restate the obvious since I've already stated it twice. Yeah. So you're... Clue once again is a true RPG. I'm down twenty five, right? You're down 25. Uh, 
And there's two mm, questions mm, left mm, after mm, this. Mm, mm. I can go ahead and do that. Um, again, don't want to use that yet. Can uh, play it one more time, please? I'm going to say Tron Legacy. That is correct for 10 points. Yes. I will say, if I say Tron and get that wrong, I'm going to be mad. Mm -hmm. All right. It's now 70 to 55. Rue, you have your choice, sir. Four or five? Five. Break it up. <laughs> Break it up. All right. Number five it is. Clue comes to Houston Bodily. And it is Squid Games. Squid Games. So it's a 15 point game right now. Six. Six notes, making it worth 15 points out the gate. Five. Five, now we're 20. Four. Settle it. All right, on four notes. Let's go. It's worth 20 points. Rue, you get this right, you take a five-point lead. You each have your lifelines and double downs to use. Your clue, once again, is Squid Games. <laughs> I'm going to use my lifeline here. Smart. You saved it till now. All right, so Andy's got to read through the list of clues to give you your lifeline. The first one, once again, was Squid Games. Okay, Amaru, your lifeline clue is... Uh, born to rum. Born to rum. Uh, play it again, please. Mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. For 20 points. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Foolishly, we just have pirates down for that. So uh, we probably <laughs> should write the actual one that's from, unless it's parenthetical in the end. <laughs> Oh, no, no it is. Full, oh, it's on there. My my apologies. <laughs> yeah, I changed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I, I thought about it when he was going to guess. And I was like, oh, fuck. I think it just says. <laughs> All right. Rue takes a five-point lead, 75 to 70. We have one Ooh. left Ooh. in this game. So there will be a no tie, no sudden death. It all comes down to this. Your clue for number four is death from below death from below uh i'm gonna go back to 13. Twelve. Hmm. Settle it. I'll okay. let you win this off of off of that. <laughs> All right, on twelve notes. Chandra, you do have your lifeline if you want to yeah. use it. 
It's for 10 points. This is for the ball game right here. And your clue once again is death from below. Uh, I'll take my lifeline. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But... All right. Just to confirm. Okay. So Andy will read through the list of clues to give it to you. And your first one, once again, was death from below. Okay. Chandru, your lifeline clue is heavy metal. All right. Heavy. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. And this time I won't ask you to play at 1.5 speed or whatever. <laughs> um, uh, this is one of my favorite movies, uh, Pacific Rim. That is correct for 10 points. Nice. I wouldn't pull that. Damn. Wouldn't oh, that. Andrew. Nice stuff. Five point W was... <laughs> for you, sir. I was that. That was definitely like so much more nerve wracking than even a Shmoda match. It was like <laughs> nail biter towards the end. Uh, and Rue, I will forward you the second part of the email that he sent because it's just too much. To actually <laughs> yeah, on air, we're gonna have like a post credit scene, just like in the, the, <laughs> the exact <laughs> thing. But I said the same thing. It's gonna be the exact same post credit <laughs> scene as uh, it's all as the first movie. <laughs> um, but Tanju, uh, a hell of a showing, a five point win. That was a close game. Um, but you have the floor first to plug, promote, say whatever you like, man. So go ahead and take it away. Yeah, just like last time, um, I'm on Instagram at Chandru Thinks. So if you want me to post a lot more about like uh, Shmoda, movies, climate science, uh, all of that cool stuff, uh, <clears throat> follow me on there. If there's more followers, I'll, I'll have the incentive to like, I'll post more. And I'll, other than that, um, elections less than 100 days away. So uh, go volunteer, go register to vote. And uh, yeah, knock some doors. Uh, it's a first call to arms to register to vote on the show. Hey. I can't believe after all these <laughs> years. Um, what about you, Rue? What should people be on the lookout for? Uh, if you look up Amaru Moses on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm pretty sure I'm like the first guy there. And look out everything Bite Size Breakdown as always, bitesizebreakdown.com. Uh, going through our uh, top five list this year of um, – Best of the millennium since uh, the last 25 years, since we're coming up with 25 years, we just did our top five dramas. We've done actors, actresses, directors, so look out for that. I just did a, um, which is actually great for, for this show. I just did an article uh, called The Soundtracks to Our Cinematic Lives, where you know how, like, if you think of The Lion King, you think Elton John, you think Tarzan, you think Phil Collins, Black Panther, Kendrick Lamar. So I picked nine upcoming movies and pick the specific artists who I think would kill it curating that soundtrack. Oh, uh, cool. So uh, go check that article out. I really loved what I came up with there. Uh, Can you send us the yeah. link? We'll put it in the description, Amari, please. Yes, yes, 100%. Uh, yep, we'll do that. All right, we'll be on yeah, the lookout. Bite Size Breakdown, appreciate it. Uh, bite Size Breakdown. We'll have both of your handles in the description below, so go uh, hit them up over there. Uh, Andy, what about you, man? Uh, you guys are the best. Uh, thanks so much for coming on. Um, Amaru, I mean, you're the man. We love having you on the show. Uh, let me know what next time you need to come and debate something on yours. Uh, <laughs> and Chandra, the trend, Chandra, I'll probably see you in a couple of weeks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just gonna I'm never going to leave now. <laughs> Got to make up for all the <laughs> time I haven't been on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep having it. You know, it's just eventually it's every day. We're just yeah. doing shows with Chandra every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, gentlemen, our thanks to both of you for taking the time to join us on the show. It was a real pleasure once again. And um, that is it for this week's show. You can follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M, and you can follow me at Matt Nost. We'll see you guys next week with another new edition of Settle the Score. Until then, adios.